Hello everyone and welcome in a new video. Today I want to talk about circuits, circuits around the world. I did the top 10 of the Formula 1 all-time best Formula 1 drivers. The circuit is a bit more complicated so it's not a top 10 but it's 10 circuits that I really enjoyed that I wanted to talk about. As always, subscribe, like, comment. First of all, Singapore Marina Bay circuit. It was the first night race in Formula One. It is a very fast circuit for a street course. It is much faster than, than some other street course. And a lap at Singapore is not easy. The race is always very challenging because of the humidity and the heat that you get in Singapore. It's one of the most physical race track of the year because of that. The race is normally pretty long, quite a bit of safety car so you get to the two hours limit that you have in formula one for the race duration bumpy it's a street course there's a lot of pedestrian crossing and bus line crossing and different tarmacs and as i say pretty pretty high speed for a street course monaco monaco is probably the most well known street course in the world monaco is very smooth monaco has got a great tarmac it is the smoothest of all street circuits that you can imagine it's neat it's well prepared been here for a very long time on the calendar the only challenge of Monaco is that the race in the 60s and the race in 2020 the cars change a lot obviously the racetrack hasn't changed because Monaco is a tiny city and there isn't that much room to change the circuit so qualifying lap in Monaco is absolutely stunning the downside of Monaco is once the race has started as I say those new modern Formula 1 cars they go so fast they're so wide they're so long that the overtaking becomes almost impossible so that's a bit of a shame so your race is on Saturday your race is in qualifying and if you start first you have high chances to finish first unless the weather plays talking of the weather when it rains in monaco it is very very hard only the start finish line which is slightly bent to the right it's got a lot of pedestrian crossing bus stop and it's very super slippery so monaco is is definitely one of the best track in the world in quality lap rates as i say it's just uh, it's just a bit harder i uh, want to talk about imola san marino obviously imola for me it's gonna be always out in senna i watched that race when i was eight years old and the first time i drove in imola was in 2011 in gp2 did it in 2020 in formula one and i love imola it's an amazing circuit it's got an extraordinary every feel first of all you are in italy you're not far from ferrari from modena it is it is built in a beautiful part of the region and it flows right that double right in aqua minerale corner absolutely stunning going almost flat out then break down shift and go back up Absolutely incredible racetrack. The two chicanes being challenging but fun. I was really glad to be racing there. Obviously, there's a very heavy past 94. I mentioned Elton Senna, but on, on the qualifying day, it was uh, Radenberger that lost his life. They changed the racetrack since then. So Tombo Corners used to be a long left. Now there's, there's a chicane. The track was remodified from those two incidents, but uh, absolutely stunning racetrack and uh, love to see Formula One going back there. Now the Nürburgring in Germany, obviously I've been racing on the GP track and, and that always worked really well for me, but I want to talk about the Nordschleife. And the Nordschleife being the first racetrack in Nürburgring, right? And uh, used for the 24 hours of Nürburgring, but 20 kilometers long, goes through some of the amazing <laughs> corners and, and it's so hard to memorize all the corners, right? They, there's so many of them and there's so many portion that kind of look the same but are very different it's a very 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 high speed circuit i think there's like three slow speed corners out of 20 kilometers obviously reminds me of Niki Lauda accident that was in the notch life in Nürburgring that his car took on fire what a racetrack i was lucky to drive it a few times in normal cars I've been driving it on the simulator good luck on the simulator <laughs> it is a challenge it is a tough one but what a racetrack what a race the 24 hours is always fun to watch if there's one racetrack in the world that requires a lot of courage that's definitely one now we're going asia macau macau is is used to be the world cup of formula 3 i did macau three times uh, it's an absolutely incredible circuit it's into the city but it's so long lap time is two minutes ten and bear in mind the first 25 seconds are full on throttle flat out and uh, the straight line is so long and goes forever and then you go up into the the city and uh, up the hills and then you have actually two sections that are look very very similar but the last corner of both sections is very different one case you're thinking fourth gear corner second case you're in second gear corner so you don't want to get those wrong because that's definitively an off and there's no place to be off in macau when you're up in the city there's guard rail and be out of guard rail there's nothing right and then you come back down and then there's a tiny air pin which is always on the yellow flag because if anyone tries to overtake at that air pin you won't make the corner it's too tight to get two cars there so the yellow flag it all the time 
and then there's a big step when you do the hairpin and then you go back down and then there's two right hand side corner super fast big wide street out of those uh, last two corners really funny for the race you can be leading the race going into the start finish line and it could be overtaken by three cars before you get to a uh, corner at the end just because of the slipstream so there's a lot of game going on and it's quite exciting to watch because of covid and, and so on the last few years haven't happened in macau even when i was a formula one driver i would have gone back to formula three to do it just love it from asia we go to the us indianapolis motor speedway that's an incredible racetrack the brickyard finish it was actually made of brick indianapolis motor speedway with 3.2 million bricks to do the four kilometers which are lap the four corners have the same radius have the same width have the same angle and they all feel different turn one is probably the hardest turn four being the easiest they all look different but they are the same a nine degrees bank angle i believe which is not a lot for an oval when you go down the start finish line full of people on a grandstand or right hand side and pit on the left hand side and then you see that turn one and you look at it and you think do i really need to do 235 miles an hour into that corner yes you do and it's amazing spa francorchamps spa used to be very very long spa used to be very different layouts that that we know nowadays but uh, i don't know much about that layout i just know about spa nowadays and, and it's an amazing spa is absolutely incredible you go in la source first turn then go down and then there's the redillon facing you and it looks like a wall absolutely stunning and then very long straight line to lecon but and it keeps going up for until turn five it goes up and then you go there and then from there on it's all downhill until the, the back straight uh double left of pont so fast and the chicane absolutely stunning so i love the flow of spa i'm talking of spa when i speak about road america road america is the spa of the us same curb color yellow and red same kind of track in the middle of the forest same feel with the you know the elevation not as much road america but quite a bit those two track feels the same i love to compare them love both of them and i think in terms of feel there's three tracks in the world that are special suzuka in japan spa in europe road america and the us those are the three that i think as a driver are the most enjoyable ones and then to finish let's go fast let's go to monza monza is unique obviously monza used to be an oval with a huge banking that changed to a racetrack that didn't have much chicane and now we've got a chicane so the first chicane variante uno second chicane then the double less more corners back on the back straight you go under the ovals to a scary chicane very very fast chicane out of the chicane into the last corner i think they renamed it i don't remember the name but for me it's, it's always going to be the parabolica uh, absolutely stunning corners the only problem with parabolica is no that there is an asphalt run of area and when i started going there it was only gravel and i'll tell you one thing going at 330 kilometers an hour there doing that corner which you enter with a lot of speed it's barely any braking at the 50 meters mark and there's gravel on the right on the, on the left hand side that was something very uh, very brave the monza temple of speed tifosi italian fans absolutely stunning so definitely monza makes the least i could talk hours about racetrack but i just picked 10. let me know which one you would have put into the list i'm curious very curious to to know about it and as always make make sure you leave a comment you subscribe you like and i'll see you very soon